Blessed be Jesus Christ, we cordially welcome you to the home of St. Elizabeth's Sister Congregation, which is not only the family home of every sister of St. Elizabeth, but of every visitor as well. Together with the Holy Family Chapel, it is very special memento of the Blessed Mary Louise Merkert, commonly known as the Silesian Samaritan. The higher vestibule leads to the house where iron grating fences in staircase from the inside of the house. The entrance gate is called a wicket. From there, there is visible a huge cross known to poor and ill in times of Mother Mary Merkert. Since then, they have been appearing by the gate for a piece of bread and bowl of soup, always certain to obtain hot meal, even if the very congregation suffers their hard times. The very word convent is usually associated with the image of a bulky adobe with thick walls behind which nuns lead their secret lives. The convents and monasteries are evidence of the faith of our families since they are places with people who left their family homes and responded to Christ's calling, follow my steps. Our convent is the home in Nyssa, the place of establishment, the Sisters of St. Elizabeth Congregation. Mother Mary Merkert, the first Mother Superior, should be given all the credit for the erection of this magnificent building. So that's the place basically when they were deciding who would be the, the next Mother Superior, when they make all the big changes. Also now they use it for different gatherings, uh, official gatherings. And then they had to stay for three years for a medical education. It, was the low, it wasn't like a college, but it was the minimum that they had to know. So what this sister could do, they could uh, work on the teeth, like not, not repair it, but just, they were like dentists that they can put it out, and also they can make the small surgeries. So not like a open heart surgery, but you know, to sew something or to, to cut something and all that stuff. So they were qualified to do that. And before they did it, they also had to pass an exam. So over here came a doctor that he was holding the, the, the lectures for them. They were learning that. And from the older sister, they were learning how to take care of the older people. Także so możemy możemy powiedzieć, że ten budynek był pierwszą taką nieformalną szkołą pielęgniarską tutaj na ziemi śląskiej. So basically the first non-formal school of uh, how to take care of older people was over here. Dlatego nas nie dziwi, że nawet wojsko z Ministerstwa do Spraw Wojny prosili o to, żeby siostry zostały zatrudnione przy pielęgnacji chorych rannych żołnierzy w czasie tych trzech wojen, które w tym czasie przetoczyły się tutaj przez Europę Środkową. They ask also for the help of the sister because if you have an army and a lot of wounded, you know, if you have a qualified sister, so they'll be the one that will put them together and put them again to work. So they were the first one that were very valuable because they were educated. So that's why the convent spread so much that there were 500 sisters, 90 in different places. Because the need was huge. Any questions? Because sister can talk like this for hours. <laughs>
Thank you. 